Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to have yet another matchup between an SiO2 sealant and a polymer sealant. This is Chemical Guys Hydrocharge. This is an SiO2 infused spray sealant. I just had a showcase on the product. You can check that out. We're going to put it up against Turtle Wax Seal and Shine, and that is a polymer sealant. Turtle Wax Ice seal and shine 16 ounces i can get it for under 10 bucks with the code at my local advanced auto we're going to find out if the old school polymer sealants such as this are, uh, are they a thing of the past is it worth paying so much more for the sio2 fad nowadays they do cut down um you know they cut down on time but are they worth it let's give it a try here i have a panel and we're going to prep it because you cannot apply products such as these, any detailing product or protection, really without proper preparation. That means wash, however you do it, clay, decontamination, some type of a polish, either a cleaner polish, just something to exfoliate the surface at least, if you're not doing some type of correction, and then going back over it again with a panel prep or IP solution, making sure there's no residue whatsoever, and getting the surface naked and ready for protection. I'm not going to waste my time correcting, doing a multi-stage correction on this test hood, but I am going to use a cleaner polish. This is Meguiar's 83, and I know I do show the um, preparation every time I do these test videos. If you've seen these a dozen times, go ahead and skip forward a minute or two. But I do have new subscribers that I want to show preparation is absolute key for any of these products. Wipe off the polish residue and then follow up with panel prep or a body solvent. panel is clean it's decontaminated we have all existing or older protection any form whether it be a wax or a sealant or a spray coating it's all removed there's no protection and I'll grab you guys bring in close so you can actually see that I have three sections masked off. The first little section here belongs to Turtle Wax Ice. The second section will belong to the Hydro Charge Chemical Guys. The third section is our control section. It is perfectly clean, it just will not be protected. Then I can show you application of each product. They have similarities, they have differences. I'm going to spray both into a microfiber or a foam applicator pad, a different pad, different towels and microfibers for each section so we do not cross contaminate the only thing I'm really doing is taking my time to make sure each panel is uh, properly and evenly coated and they both both sections will get two coats I want to show you what it looks like up close both applying and then removing the products no big deal really both of them, if you use too much, it will be quite a pain to remove, so a little bit does go a long way. I am putting some rather thick uh, layers, two of them, on each panel, as I mentioned before, but I want to give them both um, you know, a decent, fair shot, because we're going to abuse these heavily once they have cured. I'm going to give them the proper time to cure. And now we'll move on to application of hydrocharge. Now 
During application, I tend to let it sit for two to four minutes, leaning more towards four minutes. I think that's best. And I'll bring you in close, but you'll see that it, uh, it has more consistency of, uh, you know, like oil, like baby oil. Not that hard to remove, but again, a little bit goes a long way. If you apply too heavily, well, then you're going to have a harder time removing it. Very good. We have all sections applied. They're now starting to cure. We will give them the, the proper cure time. We'll let them sit overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and we will continue on. Both of these sections have had plenty of time to cure. It's been a little over 20 hours now. The turtle wax doesn't need a cure time whatsoever. With the hydro charge, uh, best to keep it clean and dry for two to three hours, but for the best results, 24 hours of cure after being applied is best. Like I said, 20 plus hours, we're good to go. We're going to get this started. When it comes to slickness, the turtle wax side has this one by a mile. In fact, when I'm trying to do gloss readings, the, the meter is having trouble staying on the panel. When it comes to gloss, we started out in the middle 80s, and now we are in the low 90s. But when we come over here, we're starting to reach the lower to mid 90s, 93, 9, 93 and a half, 94 compared to 90, 91. So slickness, the overall feel of the panel goes to turtle wax. When it comes to gloss, chemical guys, hydrocharge easily wins that. Okay, when it comes to resisting what Mother Nature has to serve up on the panel, let's take a look. Bring you guys in a little closer. Control. You can easily see where the chemical guy starts. Very nice, impressive beating. And same with the turtle wax. I'm going to give the beating a slight edge to Chemical Guy's um, section here. Very close. I'm not sure if this picks up on the, the camera, but here being right in front of it, slight edge to chemical guys. If you're one like myself who drives their car for the most part with forced air, this is what that would look like. <laughs> Pretty much the same on both sides. That one there was a toss up. I'm completely against chemical abuse, but in this case, we're jumping in with both feet. Here we have sodium, magnesium, and calcium chloride. In my area, this soupy mess, when mixed together, is called brine. It's what they treat the roads with in the wintertime. And mechanically, if you're working on a car, when the undercarriage and suspension has been soaked in this stuff and you don't have nitro gloves, your hands are going to burn. It's very strong stuff. We're going to douse all three areas with the stuff. It's actually really doing a number on the nozzle here. But we're going to let that sit. I'll bring you in close just so we can all see what's going on in these sections. Here's the turtle wax. Uh, each section is holding its own, rejecting the chemical. They're both holding it at bay. This is what it looks like in the unprotected area. So we have protected, protected, 
unprotected in the control area. All right, we'll let that sit for a minute or two. We'll come in and rinse, and I have uh, a bucket with CarPro. I'm gonna be cleaning in between every test, making sure there's no residue, and we have a clean slate before the next chemical. Okay, let's rinse these areas off. All right, as you can see, as expected, both areas did well. With just one round of the brine, it would take repeated sessions to wear these down. Controlled area, hydrocharge, turtle wax. All right, let's move on. Next up is an industrial cleaner. Next, it, I'm gonna to get to this. This is very good stuff. I want to show you how to use it, dilution ratios, all that jazz. We'll get to it. But for now, we'll use it to abuse the turtle wax and the hydrocharge in the controlled area. Let me bring you guys in, let you see what's going on. Here we have what looks like could be some weakening in the chemical guys area. But this is what it looks like in an unprotected control area. Guys, turtle wax. All right, well, let's rinse. We'll wash and take a look. My suspicions are correct. We do have a weak spot forming right here, the chemical guy's side. Again, here's control. Chemical guy's right there, we have a strong spot. Right here, we have a weak spot. So, we do see a chink in the armor. Let's move on. Okay, next up. We have Extreme Solutions, Extreme Degreaser. This stuff has some kick to it. I already have some in a 32-ounce spray bottle. Let's apply and let it go to work. Turtle wax, chemical guys. And there's that little section that's start, starting to break down and control. All right, a few minutes, let's rinse. Make sure there's no residue. Rinse once more. And I will bring you in and I can indeed tell you the entire section now for Chemical Guys is starting to break down. There is some protection there, so we're going to keep going uh, one more time yet. But I see no weakening whatsoever in the turtle wax section. This is by no means 
um, replacement for real world wear and tear in your environment, but this does tell you a lot because these, you know, these companies, these, these products, they boast of being able to handle chemicals normally in between the range of two and 12 on the pH scale. So this gives us an idea of just how tough these products are. Turtle wax is having no problem at all. And you can see we're starting to go to a sheeting mode of protection. Okay, now to let you in on how I clean these panels in between tests. I use the TSP substitute crud cutter uh, prepaint cleaner. This is for painted surfaces, wood, plastic, uh, stone, marble, um, for anything that needs to be prepped before um, a paint or a coating. This stuff here I would not recommend on you know a, a vehicle that doesn't have a fresh wax or sealant that you're trying to remove and if I use it it's only going to be a one and done situation but this is what I use to clean the slate in between tests and this stuff is nasty. This is what we're going to spray on here next. We'll let it dwell for a couple minutes. We'll rinse and we'll see what is uh, what's happening. Okay here we go. Actually, I'll get a little bit more on the turtle wax section, see if we can break that down and even things up a bit. I'll grab you guys, bring you in, let you see what's going on. I mean, just turtle wax just puts up one heck of a fight. Just crazy for under $10, how they're giving this stuff away. And the hydrocharge side is really starting to fail. And of course, then the control section. Okay, that's been on there for a good 10 minutes. I had a quick phone call. All right, so I just want to quick bring you guys in. Let you see what's going on before I even rinse with uh, or wash with the reload. Turtle wax, no problem. Chemical guy's gone. And the control side's done, and this is almost out of water, so it's acting up. Perfect timing. And I'm gonna air dry it, and you'll see the difference between the two sections. <laughs> This section dried just like when we started, blew those beads right off. This section is actually still has some moisture in it. And this is the control section. So those are all three areas. And it's just absolutely amazing how a polymer sealant under 10 bucks easily puts up a fight against any expensive or more expensive. This really isn't that bad of a price uh, for SiO2 or SiO2 titanium mixture. And I will keep teaming um, or matching up turtle wax with these types of products until one actually beats it.